So this is my uh, 2013 CRF 250L and I bought it October of 2012. So getting on to be a few days short of 10 years having this pretty incredible motorcycle. And I uh, put 46,000 kilometers on it. And I'll tell you, this is one of the best, you know, when you look at the best values that you've ever had on anything, anything on any uh, product, this has got to be one of the best values I've ever had because this bike just keeps on going. I've dropped it a lot. You can see I've done some MacGyvering in a lot of places. I got twist ties everywhere holding things together. And uh, actually just dropped it again. I haven't dropped it much lately in the last few years. The first couple of years I had it, picked up a new, that's my third shifter. Because uh, I dropped it a couple of uh, weeks ago, actually. And a little MacGyvering here on the, this works great. It busted, well, the last time I dropped it, it busted my lever. So this is good. A little uh, extension torque tool for a wrench of some kind. I've got zip ties here. I've got a busted thing. This has been like this since 2013. 2014. Uh, I've replaced the fork seals a couple of times. I'm on my third chain. Front sprockets got replaced. <clears throat> lots of uh, brake pads, not lots of brake pads, two or three times I guess. But you know all those kind of things are easily fixed. That's the nice thing about this bike. I mean and if it doesn't get fixed who cares? Like if I got a zip tie holding this up together as long as it's holding it together, right? And uh, this motor, it just keeps on, I swear to God, it's as strong as ever. It just keeps on ticking. And it's such a, a really, really nice bike. The only thing, you know, it does, it's not a highway bike. But anywhere else, it's super cool. I've got more dirt-oriented tires on right now because since I've had my CB500, I'm using this mainly for anywhere where I'm mostly dirt. And it's, it's just such a good bike. I mean... We spent so many hours together, me and this bike, all kinds of th terrain and all kinds of places we've gone. And it's just, uh, I would never get rid of this bike. I don't know what's going to die first, me or the bike, but it's going to be with me for as long as it's holding together and as long as I'm holding together. So, yeah, one of the best overall values I've ever purchased. I have, I think I'm on my eighth bike or seventh bike, I'm not sure. This was number... Let's see, I had my Yamaha, my Jixer, my V-Strom. I guess this was the fourth bike I got. And, uh, yeah, like I say, it'll be with me forever until it dies. You just got to just bandage it up and, you know, put decals over the scratches, the scars of battle. But, uh, yeah, it's it's terrific. And, uh, you know, I'm not riding it maybe as much as I used to because I have that CB500 now. But anytime I get out into the dirt or where I think it's going to be rough, this is the go-to bike. And, uh, yeah, 10 years now I've had it. Lots of hours together, lots of good times. Now, of course, it's a 300. And they've obviously made improvements, especially to the dash. The gauge package is a lot better and of course a stronger engine for sure but I mean it's probably basically the same bike and a great design by Han in the first place just what the people wanted and give what the people want and you're gonna sell a million of, I'm not god I'd like to know how many of these they sold so many I bet you I think that's probably one of the first because I got it in 2012 and uh, yeah, so keep on ticking. See you in another 10 years and maybe I'll do uh, a 20-year <laughs> summation.